Here's an overview of the technique called Contrapasso, which is used by Dante in Dante's Inferno. Dante's Inferno is about Dante's trip through hell with Virgil as his guide. And Virgil also acts as a personification of reason. Um, as Virgil guides him, he sees all the layers of hell and those that inhabit it. In Dante's Inferno, Dante put in people that he knew during his life. And oftentimes he'll use those people to be able to talk to the sinners and see that and ask them questions. Contrapasso is a way of poetic justice where the punishment fits the sin that was made. Uh, for an example, and I'll probably use this example another time as well, but it's next to one. In Dante's Inferno, the lustful sinners are stuck in the whirlwind. And that is because as they were lustful throughout their lives, you, when you're lustful, you're always wanting something, but you never can quite have it because if you have it, you're not lusting for it. So, these people are stuck in a whirlwind of wanting something they can never quite have. Dante uses Contrapasso to show how that even after death, the sinners are stuck in that sin forever. For the lustful sinners, it's the whirlwind. For those that commit suicide, they, can, they have abused their body and can never have their body again. So instead of having their body, they are stuck in the form of trees. Um, when Dante comes along the suicide, it appears to be like a forest. Only when he breaks the limb off of one of the trees, it causes physical pain, and you actually see this tree bleed. So, with the suicide, you know, they're stuck in their misery of when they decide to commit suicide yet they can no longer hurt themselves, so they're just stuck. And for the lustful centers, they're stuck in the forever wanting. Um, another great example is the scholars, um, and those that never really did anything bad, but never knew Christ. They are, they're stuck in a world that's much like their life was on earth, because they didn't really do anything that bad, they just didn't know Christ. So, they're stuck in a world kind of like they had on Earth, except for the fact they have no hope of ever having anything better because they have no hope of ever going to heaven or seeing Christ. As to why Dante used this technique, there are several theories. Different scholars think different things. One is that it was to scare Christians into following a more righteous path and getting themselves kind of straight and straight with God. Others could say it was to get back at the politically corrupt that actually helped push him out of Italy. Um, Dante was actually exiled from Italy before he wrote this poem. So a lot of the characters um, were corrupt popes or corrupt officials that were in Italy at the time of his exile. So you could very easily say it was almost like a revenge. And still, for the sake of his poem, it would make sense for Dante to want to do this. Because this is about his journey through hell. And poetically, it just would make more sense for it to have these different layers with each sinner having their own punishment that fits what got them in hell in the first place. And it, it's really to show that what these people did on earth is why that they went to hell. It's just, you know, the whole free will thing that, you know, God gives you free will and you can either follow God or you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want that may just lead you to hell. And I think that's kind of the point Dante really wanted to have underlying all this as well, is that the free will, if you don't 
choose to follow God, then you will end up in hell.